Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Tree Count Kano's Trainer Gauntlet. We are continuing to the ninth team, which is the Psychic Team. So let's meet them now. First up, we have Smeargle, who is pretty much going to be, um, his role is to set up, to use Spore, or, um, to put something to sleep, pass along growth, pass along agility, um, I have actually two versions, with well, another with a leech seed, which basically does the same thing. Um, so he's basically a setup. Then we have Slowbro, who is a tank with Thunder Wave, Surf, Earthquake, and Psychic. And he's going to be given leftovers for this run. Then we'll move on to our Surfing Raichu. Yes, he's named Surge, because I thought it was too cool. Uh, with Thunderbolt, Lightning, uh, Thunder Wave, and Reflect. Then we move on to another tank, which is Arcanine, Fire Blast and Body Slam, Roar and Rest, just in case. Then we have Zatu, with Confuse Race, Psychic, Giga Drain, and Drill Peck, <laughs> um, and, and who's going to be one of our main ones, actually. And then we're moving on to Clefable, who requires some setup. Uh, he needs help from Samirgul to really get his attack power going because he's got Belly Drum, Return, uh, Shadow Ball, and Moonlight. And that's the team. So let's see how they fare in the Poke Cup Pokeball. Nice and easy starting out against the Bug Catcher first. So to start these first few rounds of single Pokemon perfect knockouts, we're going to start with Norris. This is my Yatu, uh, Zatu. Yes, he's named Norris because he looked like a Norris. That or I played Chrono Cross. But he's packing a lot of moves to deal with a lot of different kinds of threats. I would not include bug Pokemon in those threats. But Confuse Ray is so nice to have uh, as a disruptor. Norris has great attack and special attack. Giga Drain is sort of banking on its special attack. Uh, it's not really used for much else. Uh, because we'll encounter some rock types eventually. Poor Weedle. Oh, it plops down. But the Psychic Team is uh, actually a pretty great team. It really has some strong ones on there. Like, I have not seen Slowbro go down easy in any match I've, I've faced him. Or Slowking. That family is very, very strong. That's another reason why I included Sme uh, why Smeargle is going to speed him up. Pass along some growths, he becomes a Mewtwo. I'm not even kidding. Alright, so this is Surge. Another Chrono Cross reference. But basically, he's got all the uh, doodads and gadgets. Thunderbolt, Surf, Thunder Wave, and Reflect. While Reflect is nice, I might change it down the road, or um, clone him down the road to exchange it for something else. I just feel like that fourth move could be doing something else, or replace Thunder Wave with Rain Dance, and then Thunderbolt with Thunder. It wouldn't be terrible, but it just doesn't have a lot of time to set up. We're just one-shotting the swimmer team. This has turned into a 
Now you might be wondering why my name, my trainer name, is Pink. Well, it's because Smeargle has Baton Pass, a name, uh, uh, a move the game can't, uh, doesn't recognize as Smeargle being able to sketch slash learn, but it really can. Um, you basically, um, you you sort of manipulate it into the battle uh, during a Game Boy battle, and you can get Baton Pass, uh, and it won't. It, and you can actually sketch it. It works. Anyway, I see it as legal, so... It's not like I put on uh, anything illegal. Sketch is supposed to use any move, so... Alright, on to the hiker. I could honestly bring in search for this. Slowbro is a good choice, but he's too slow. Norris with Giga Drain can take out the four times weak. But Surge is just fast. I like it. I like Surge. And unfortunately, it wasn't a Pikachu. Uh, it was a Raichu, so I will be using that uh, him instead. No light ball strats here. They have the exact same moveset, by the way. And unfortunately, since I've traded it to uh, my metal versions, we won't see any of the um, special animations for Pikachu. Yeah, Machop is going to use Focus Energy. And we're going to surf him down, just to be cool. He's already an Alolan Raichu, he can surf on his tail. Oh yeah, surf is so useful. This is why Lantern became popular. Water and electricity was so welcome. So Norris got one battle, Surge got two battles. Nice easy start. Advancing to level four, now we see the super nerd team with a few electric Pokemon of their own. <laughs> Biggest threat, honestly, is either the Porygon or Flaffy. Unfortunately, I can't really do much against four, uh, electric Pokemon with this team. The only one I can do with is um, Slowbro, who has Earthquake, but he needs to be sped up for it, and that's why he has Thunder Wave. So in a case like this, um, I'll pretty much charge in with an Ar uh, Arcanine or something really fast or really strong to try to take down the immediate threats. So here he is. I was totally blessed to get a red RK9, like really red. He looks awesome that way. He's not like pale orange. All right, we gotta take out the Flaffy. Oh, it's gonna Thunder Wave. That's okay. We can rest later if we need to. Um, because our canine has a mid there. If we need to, honestly. Oh, 
Yeah, no one should be intimidated by this electrode. Unless it uses Screech and Self-Destruct, um, the Mirror Coat is its only other threat, because it will just go for Sonic Boom. And if it doesn't resort to any of those strategies, it's helpless. It'll just use Sonic Boom. Like, Screech is useless outside of self-destruct. No paralysis yet. But it's too late. Fire Blast is gonna knock him out. Sick Hunter color. I love that blue. And we'll just bulldoze right, right through it. Ah, or so we think. No more paralysis. We are done with that. Nerd battle is supposed to be easy. There you go. Am I alone in that Haunter looks more threatening than Gengar? I don't know, I've always gotten that vibe. From its cry, from its look. It looks like it's actually haunting. Alright, Battle 5 is the beauty team. Now, the first time I played through, um, I did... Uh, it did glitch out on me, but the f I did get to the beauty team, and Attraction, like, destroyed this team, uh, because I otherwise I'm really slow on some, on some of them. So... Either I charge in, or I set up with Roger, my Smeargle. And hand the rest to Slowbro or Gabriel. And I'm choosing to set up. This is Roger. Yeah, thankfully it's just Quillfish. He does have the Quick Claw, uh, my Pokemon. And we get Spore, which is 100% accuracy. And, a sli uh, and it will sleep. Uh, makes a <laughs> it will make the Pokemon sleep. I can't talk. Ah, but it is switch she is switching out. I kind of anticipated that, so that's why I used Agility. At least she's not pummeling me with her mill tank. Thankfully, the pink moves you can still use, even though they're outlined like as taboo. And growth is great. If you can pass off growth, you've already won the battle. Okay, attraction is definitely annoying. But I can live through one attack. Alright, we're gonna see how uh, powerful Slowbro has become now that he has speed and special attack power. Of course, the Corsola has a Quick Claw. So until we get there, we're just gonna sit here. 
Waiting on a surf. He wants to use mirror code so bad, doesn't he? Yeah, now we're one-shotting things. No more Quick Claw. We'll be going first every time now. Now this one's next one is just to sort of demonstrate. Uh, I just wanted to see how powerful the special attack was on something like a Chansey. So, 1.5 times on Surf with two growths. Pretty good on a Chansey. Otherwise, I'm earthquaking it. I like how Slowbro livens up when he uses Earthquake. He, like, he actually just jumps. I can't believe he still had just one HP left, though. I have nothing to really wake it up. But I think it's run is over. So Gabriel doesn't I th doesn't really have the speed to take this out, but he does have the power. No attraction this time. But Gabe's return is about as powerful as Gar uh, Grand Bull's uh, return. Just super strong. Gabe can also take special attacks very well. Our belly drum here. And then give it one heck of a return. Yeah, Hydro Pump, that's not a threat. Bam! So awesome when you pull it off. It's a good thing I won't need growths on Clefable, on Gib. But it is useful to just pass growth onto anything. Growths pass to Zatu. Growths pass to Arcanine. Let's go Zan. Alright, Burglar Team. Fire base. I can bring Raichu. I can bring Slowbro. Probably not a good idea to bring Norris. And our canine wouldn't hurt either. Because I can outspeed everything. See what this matchup is like. No problem whatsoever. Surf right it over, cult with lava. Oh no, not butt slap. I don't like that. That is so mean. Oh, now quick attacks, huh? Critical, quick, critical, quick attacks. Ugh. Oh, it's already doing it. It's already taking its toll. I do not do handle um, accuracy drops well. 
More so with double team. But if it's my own, no way. Alright, pseudo legendary, take him out. What do I do? A light hit. Alright, even Electabuzz isn't really a threat. We can just use Fire Blast or um, Body Slam to knock him out. Pretty good. He's just going to steal my Mint Berry. No big deal. And I believe Body Slam will knock him out. Yes. I think I might actually outspeed the Persian. I do. That is sad. So is Persian's stats in general. Because, jeez. I think it was solely created either to be just an anime boss Pokemon or based solely on critical hits. Its speed was up there, so it would use slash critical hit almost every time. That's why I'm so glad they updated the stadium to like just getting over just cheap, uh, old, outdated rule sets. All right, here comes the semifinal. Border Cloud. ironic thing about the psychic team uh, there's not too many uh, psychic users um, in general like I got Slowbro and Norris but that's about it I don't know where the rest fit in here Alright, now we get into the bulkier Pokemon. Sneasel is not one of them. But one I really like to fall asleep. Okay. This King's Rock didn't work on me, thank goodness. This is another thing about the computer. Sometimes they're smart and then they will switch out. That agility is going to be very important. Because he's a fan of using icy wind. That's no problem. But I figure if he's going to be using Icy Wind, I'm pretty much good coming in. I am one growth in, so we can just give him a stronger Thunderbolt. Unfortunately, Vaporeon also knows Haze, so it was, I was kind of actually a wise of me to not to uh, raise the stats too much. Another one HP? Alright, that preserves our speed. 
And adding insult to injury, surfing over a water type. Alright, this Taurus doesn't know anything too substantially uh, difficult to get over, so might as well Thunderbolt away. And critical hit. Knocks it out. Back to the sleeping Sneasel, who hasn't had any turns exposed to sleep yet, so it's going to be sleep for at least two turns. Or at least one turn. Guaranteed. Yeah, one growth just turns these Pokemon into monsters. That does it for the border team. All right, the time has come. Psychic against Psychic. Some move sets I can kind of appreciate on some of his. The Club Fairy is annoying with its two elemental punches and Shadow Ball. The Raitu uh, choose done pretty well. Iron Tail is a poor excuse for using Surf, though. And his Smeargle also knows uh, Spore. Confuse Ray. And for some reason, Aero Blast. Final battle. New trainer will claim the champion throne. Oh, poor little Natu. Yeah, we gotta switch out. They're ready to go. Oh, when a flower Pokemon is Well, Fables works because he's a special wall. There's a shot. Hit that one good. Might as well try to paralyze if I'm only Why doing about half. But weak spots help. There's the attack. A powerful one. Oh, and now it goes. So, what will be the next Pokemon? Right. Growlithe, oh, the pre-evolved version. I don't want to beat this thing up. I really don't. But I am going to make it turn its tail and run. I'm going to use Roar. Ouch, that actually kind of hurt with the critical hit. But I got to make it run. Can't hide anymore, not to. <laughs> and another critical hit. It's so needless. And Body Slam knocks him out. The Psychic falls to the Psychic Team. And with that, every team in the Pokeka Pokeball has conquered Pokeka Pokeball. Pretty cool. But also incredibly easy. Except for like one or two battles. This really wasn't a tough cup to get through.
Great Ball shakes things up a little bit with uh, higher difficulty and more in-depth strategies, but again, it's still like the training stage uh, of Pokemon. Very introductory, and we'll see what, how the Psychic uh, team does next time. For now, I am V-Count Kata. This is my trainer, Gauntlet. Trainer teams through the Stadium Cups using their own teams. And if you like what you saw, I have a playlist going uh, in the description. So please check that out. You can check out more teams. And please subscribe and comment if you can. And I'll see you next time in the Psychic Great Ball. Thanks for watching.